Hello friends, back again with another tutorial. Wi-Fi connected but no internet access. If you guys are getting the issue like your Wi-Fi is connected in your Android smartphone, tablets or Android TV but you do not have a internet access, you can follow the steps in this tutorial. Uh, currently I am going to show you the steps in my Android smartphone but you can follow these steps, try to figure out these steps and then you can search for the setting in your Android tablets and TV and you can try these steps in all those Android tablets and TV too. But in this tutorial, a step by step guide I am going to show you on an Android smartphone. So you can follow these steps, one the other steps will definitely help you guys. So let's begin. Ok guys, you can just go to Wi-Fi from the setting and then select your Wi-Fi and then click on forgot network. When you click on forgot network, your Wi-Fi will be automatically, you can see, disconnected. Now, again you come back to the setting and the Wi-Fi, you just gonna put the password and connect it. So put the password correctly and then connect it. And you're gonna see, connected. You have an excellent signal strength and the Wi-Fi is connected. Wi just tap the Wi-Fi and you're going to see this page. You can even open this from the setting. Just tap the, your Wi-Fi network, select your Wi-Fi network and tap it. Somewhere you're going to see manage network setting or you might have some different option. Sometime you might get this option directly. It's the show advanced option. So check this advanced option and then you're going to see a static. So the different device has a different ways. You just have to get to the advanced option guys. Just And then somewhere you're going to see IP setting where you have a two different options, DSCP and a static. You're going to choose a static. So that is you're going to do because in the beginning when you tap to the Wi-Fi network, you might have a different ways it will display you the option in a different smartphone. So anyway, access the advanced option, choose a static. In a static, you're going to put your static Wi-Fi address. Like 192.168.68.100.60 is right over here. So you can change this value. So everything should be fine. 192.168.100. Instead of 60, you can put 61. So you can put any value from 1 to 254. 1 to 254. Default gateway should be 192.168.100.1 and you can put 24 over here. DNS should be 192.168.100.1 and everything should be as it is. You don't have to make any changes. And then you can just try to save it and connect it. And you can see Wi-Fi connected. Let me tap it once again. If it is still do not work, again, you have to access the advanced option. Check this box advanced option and then here you have a static you're going to choose a static again and then here you have instead of 100 what you're going to do instead of 100 you're going to change it to 1 1.61 192 168 1.61 here you have 100.1 you can have the value 1 over here 1.1 and here over also you can change it to 1.1 and everything should be as it is it should be 24 over here and all this and try to connect it if this two method do not work you can proceed to the next method the next step you can follow to fix this issue open the normal pad as you can see it's a numeric pad where you dial a phone number so you just open it and then you're going to type star has 0011 has and you'll have this option so it, uh, it is a service mode so in the different device there will be a different shortcut code that you can dial to access a service mode so here I'll show you some of the code so first one is star has 0011 has works for uh, Samsung phone. So this works for Samsung phone. 
you can use it in a Samsung phone, Samsung Android phone. And there are several other code you can try in order to access Wi-Fi or in order to access a service mode in you know, other Android devices, other Android smartphone. So I'm not sure whether these codes really work for your other Android smartphones or not, but this works for these steps and this code works for your Samsung. On the top, you're going to see more. So click on this more and then you're going to tap to Wi-Fi. Click on this Wi-Fi. When you tap on Wi-Fi, you're going to see this page. Somewhere in this device, I do not have the option. You're going to see the option as off. Here you have a ping test. On the top of ping tab test, you'll have the option to off. So you just have to turn it off and then restart your smartphone. If you do not have the option, you can skip this step. Because currently in this Samsung smartphone, I do not have an option to turn it off. So turn it off, you have an option to turn off, then restart your phone or skip this step. In some smartphone, when you type it, and then at the last, you're going to type star, you'll see this space. When you tap to Wi-Fi, you're going to see this. Now you tap to Wi-Fi status. You just have to refresh the start and then go back. Check out the router. It's the next thing that you're going to do. You can restart your router. You can turn it off and turn it on again. Somewhere you're going to see the reset button. Try to reset your router. You can see the small pin here in, in my router. So in your router, if it is a, there is any kind of a reset button, you can try resetting your router. You can turn it off and turn it on again. You can restart your router. Make sure everything is fine with your router and router signal. If anything is blocking the router in front of the router, you should not put any kinds of object that block the signal. Apart from that, even if you have a problem with your router, you can just contact your internet service provider. So internet service provider gonna help you. Nearby service provider, you can just contact and get help with the router. So this is the next thing that you can do in order to fix the issue. The next step, you can go to the settings. In settings, somebody gonna find backup and reset. Here's the backup and reset. In some phone, directly at the bottom, you're gonna see the factory reset. But in my phone, here I have a backup and reset. In one the either way, I'm just trying to access the factory data reset. So somewhere in your phone in a setting, you're gonna see factory data reset. It doesn't matter whichever version of phone you are using or whichever brand or whichever device you are using. Here's the factory data reset. You're gonna access it and then you're gonna click on it. So once you click on it, you're going to read all this properly. So it's going to delete lots of information from your phone. So be careful and just read it before you continue. And then finally, at the bottom of your phone, you can see reset device. Click on reset device in order to reset your device. So it's going to ask you for the final confirmation. Click on delete all. So it will delete all the information and erase everything from your phone. So you can proceed if you want for the factory reset. And then you can just log into your phone again. You can turn on your phone again, and then you can try connecting to the Wi-Fi and it should be working fine. If all these steps really help you guys, be sure to hit the like button, subscribe and comment and share this video. You can help out your friends and many other people. Have a good day.